Hey everyone, my name is Max at 343 Labs. We're a music production school in New York City, Berlin and online. And today I'd like to show you a clip by one of our instructors an Ableton certified trainer, Claire Lim, where she demonstrates how she tunes her vocals using Melodyne. Now, this clip is taken from 343 TV, which airs every day right here on our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this clip, don't forget to subscribe below. Let's get into it. So let's go ahead and do some tuning. I'm excited for this. Let's just do something very quickly with um, Melodyne. This was requested as well quite a lot from last season, so I'm glad that we can bring it this time. Uh, let's go ahead and drag and drop this onto my vocal track. I don't have any effects on it at the moment, so this will be the first, but check this out. Yay, we've got Melodyne over here. So maybe let's spend a minute, uh, not a minute, but a few moments also to kind of talk a little bit about what Melodyne is. So Melodyne is a plugin uh, made by the company Solemony that's really good for pitch correction. Not in a live sense, but I find it most useful in like a studio sort of sense. Um, it's It can take a while to get used to using it, but it almost functions a little bit like, how should I describe this? Hmm. Um, well, we'll see how it works actually. That That's a, a, a good place to start. I'm also gonna go ahead and move this. But the way Melodyne often works is you have to have some kind of audio signal coming in that you want to tune. So in my case, it's going to be vocals. I will say that I've used Melodyne on a ton of things. I like using it a lot on guitars as well. If you've ever um, had a guitarist who maybe was very enthusiastic, maybe in playing a guitar solo, but sometimes their tuning went a little bit off, you can use Melodyne to help you with that. Uh, you can also use Melodyne for creating harmonies, which I think is very fun. I like doing that a lot as well. But in this case, we're just going to use it um, in a little bit more of a uh, utilitarian kind of sense where we tune stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and click on transfer inside Melodyne. I'm just going to make sure also that you can see this. Yes, you can. Great. <laughs> I'm always concerned. About, maybe it's my Zoom syndrome. I'm always like, are people actually seeing this or not? But let's go ahead and click on the transfer button. Now we see it's red. And now when I play this back, not gonna record, just press play. We're gonna get a transfer of whatever audio signal I have into the Melodyne um, plugin. And in the meantime, uh, let's see if anyone, is anyone able to guess what key this is in? <laughs> I know what key it's in. If you have, if you have a perfect pitch, let us know. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll give like a virtual cookie to whoever knows what key we're in. <laughs> Here we go. Is it real or is it in my mind? I can't stop putting you on rewind Wish I could let you go this time But I keep putting you on rewind Great, that's it. Okay, cool. So that's all of the stuff that we wanted to kind of bring in. Um, and yeah, okay, it's, it's actually not that bad. Um, for a lot of tuning stuff that I do, what I enjoy doing a lot that takes often more time <laughs> is listen to a, a take. And if something needs tuning, then I will tune it. But if it doesn't need tuning, then I won't tune it. So that often takes a little bit longer. So if you're ever in a rush though, there are a couple of things in the Melodyne plugin that you can kind of play around with a little bit. But just to demonstrate again, a little bit of what we just did, we took some kind of imprint of the vocals and now we can see it showing up over here. Um, so if I listen back, let's let's maybe even just take the first phrase, the is it real part, which is over here. Is it real? You can kind of see that we've got some of these notes showing up. Um, and if I wanted to, I can even kind of change this a little bit. So what if I bring this one? Oh no, let's try this one. <laughs> what if I bring this note all the way down? I can do that too. Is it real? Is it in my mind? <laughs> so that's a little bit of like the harmony thing that I mentioned just now. You can play around with pitch quite a lot, which is which is pretty fun. I'm gonna undo that though, because I, I wanna have a more realistic sort of, of tuning situation. Back to what I mentioned um, about fast tuning sorts of things. Um, a really great feature of Melodyne, if you're ever working very quickly, is if you select all of these by clicking anywhere, press Command A or Control A, select all of these little um, things that have been recorded, you can use this feature over here to snap things to a key. Um, but yeah, it's in C minor. Also, yes, absolutely. Melodyne detected the pitch, actually. It's pretty good at doing this more often than not. I will also say, though, that the hook for the song, which I just sang, is very indicative of a C minor thing, so <laughs> not super surprising. Uh, but great, C minor. What we can do is we can 
snap the pitch sensors. So check this out. I'm kind of moving this fader right now. And the pitches that have been detected are moving to the nearest note. Um, I can also move them to a C minor scale if I check this box that says snap to C minor. Now we see a couple of things have moved. Um, but you'll hear when I play this back that some things now sound worse, which is something to, to keep in mind. So I'm just going to click OK and let's see what we think. I'm also going to turn off the metronome so we have a clearer sense of this. Is it real or is it in my mind? I can't stop putting you on rewind. Oh, Wish oh. I could let you go this time, but I keep putting you on rewind. Okay, cool. So, some stuff sounds really great, which is cool. Other stuff, especially any kind of like melismatic stuff, um, sometimes Melodyne struggles with it a little bit, which in this case, you can see that it does. <laughs> so it kind of did a little bit of a weird thing over here, for example. Um, so what I'm going to do in this case is tune, edit this a little bit more finely. The truth is that my original performance wasn't actually so bad. So if I were doing my long-winded method, I would have probably just skipped over that. But let's go ahead and split this up. Um, you can do this in, in Melodyne using a couple of the tools that they have. So you can split up detection of something. Also this one over here, let's do that here. Boop, bing, boop. And now you can see them move around a little bit. Uh, let's listen to this part. I think it was in probably in the fourth bar. Putting you on. Yeah, over here. So what I want to do in this case is the same thing I did just now. A little bit of the tuning things. Putting you on. There we go. Putting you on. Rewind. A little better, but I do think the original is actually good, so it's okay. For the purpose of, of the stream, we'll keep it as that. And this one also, I think, should be there. Great, let's bring this down. Should be here. So now let's take a listen again. Let's see how we're sounding. If things are decent enough, we'll move on. Is it real or is it in my mind? I can't stop putting you on rewind. Wish I could let you go this time, but I keep putting you on rewind. Cool, so putting you on re rewind. I think that's E flat, E flat, F. Yes, that's great. Um, So great, this one should also be G, but I think that's pretty much it. So we're, the tuning happened pretty fast. I think we did that in, I, I forget the time, <laughs> a couple of minutes. Thanks for watching and don't forget, 343 TV goes live every day right here on our YouTube channel. And if you want to learn more about music production, come take a class with us or just join our community. You can find more information at 343labs.com or 343labs.de for our German website. See you next time.